Welcome back to another video guys and today uh, a very very exciting video big hype uh, I've been super super hyped when I saw this but today we're gonna be speculating on possible upcoming content uh, in the future uh, or even the new future because some of this content has been confirmed already but uh, today we're gonna speculate on this and much more so let's begin uh, first of all we're gonna start with the small things and then we're gonna move on to the more interesting things uh, so yeah, right, let's talk about new shop packs. Now the shop seems to be getting some really nice stuff. Well, some of it, I guess. Uh, first one is an interesting bundle. It's called Mr. S. Uh, good enough. It's hashtag good enough. And then the description is this will be fine. Now, uh, next up we have an interesting uh, brand new starter pack. I'm not sure if we had that before. Uh, but this starter pack uh, looks really nice and I guess it would be quite cheap, maybe like $4.99 maybe. And it says that it does give you a powerful legendary character and plenty of gold and coins to jumpstart your adventure. Best offer in the entire game. Right, uh, moving on, uh, there are uh, two new exclusive offers. Uh, so the first one is when you level up to level 5 uh, and I believe this is... Uh, I'm not sure if this is when you actually complete the tutorial or was it level 3 you completed the tutorial But anyway, this is, seems like to be like a new level of offer for level 5 and also a new level of offer for level 8 Now next up there is uh, some booster crates uh, which are gonna be for mid-season it seems Either maybe for this season I guess after round 3 uh, So the first one is a uh, uh, offer uh, 1 out of 2 So this is a support crate for mid-season and when you buy it you get another one afterwards it unlocks a better deal which is the mid-season support trunk uh, so yeah interesting maybe I don't know if it's gonna be the same recycle bundles with different names but anyway uh, next up we have the mid-season collection uh, pack which gives you uh, heroes weapons and perks for the useless to me because buying cards with money is a bit useless uh, and finally we have the mid-season booster crate stack up uh, consumables for the second half of the season now uh, when it comes to the shop we also have two brand new buttons the first one is the free button so I guess now in when they give you like free stuff instead of like you having to pay five coins it's gonna be free now the the green button is gonna be free I guess and there is another new button that's uh, it's it's called claim so I don't know what exactly maybe for compensations I guess uh, I don't know Okay, and now let's talk about the more exciting stuff. We got rid of the new bundles. Next season, season 9. Uh, now, next season, uh, it seems like next season is going to be 6 rounds. It's gonna start straight away on February 13th, no seasonal breaks, and it's gonna end on March 25th. Um, and uh, the season name has not been revealed yet. It seems like NG are still finalizing it. It seems like they're not like uh, they don't have the name yet. I suspect it's gonna be something to do with the Whisper War. Um, so I guess maybe Whisper War. We'll see. Uh, maybe when they when they add the name. Um, right, because they do keep adding new stuff. Like over the last few days, they've been adding new stuff. So I thought it's about time I make a video of it because there's now a lot. Moving on from season nine. Uh, we have a brand new uh, rare uh, SMG and this is the the Cougar SMG uh, and it's a rare a rarity so I guess a new weapon always nice moving on we have the second hero of become the hero um, uh, uh, edition and his name is Gabriel Johnson uh, and he is going to be unlocked from uh, uh, special events we are getting into the more interesting parts and the confirmed parts so it's the whispers and the new bow class uh yes this seems to be coming uh, very soon uh right now the first thing that's uh, caught my attention is now they have some different like uh, strings of all the walkers in the game except spiky uh and the funny thing is that they do have the grenade walkers so the grenade they haven't spoken about grenades for like ever since the game came out but grenades are coming back now so could they be actually uh, planning to release grenade walkers as well um, and now um, this is a small thing grenade walkers now the biggest and most exciting thing is the uh, whisperer walkers yes beware whispers have been seen in the area 
Oh my god. Uh, yes, it's exciting, it's exciting. Now there are three uh, lines for the Whisperer walkers and this is similar to what they released in the last update for every single type of walker. Alright, so the first one is hide among walkers. Uh, next one is much more alert than the dead. And finally, dangerous at close distance um, or close range, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Uh, these walkers guys are actually real humans dressed up as walkers. They do hide among actually the living dead So it's gonna be quite tough to actually differentiate between those and I wonder the mechanics about it Now it seems like we're gonna be getting a brand new encounter type mission Which are going to be specific for the whisperer walkers uh, And there is uh, the rewards that are gonna give you heroes and weapons uh, I guess cards um, but yeah, it seems like a brand new encounter type of mission is coming and this is gonna feature walkers, whispers, probably mixed with normal walkers as well. Uh, and when I feel like these walkers are gonna be, it's like, they're gonna be normal walkers, but as soon as you damage them, or maybe as soon as they get close to you, they turn into raiders and then attack you using the raider mechanics. Maybe so far they'll only be melee, but that would be also interesting because when they turn into humans, normal walkers should also attack them. So it's, it's an interesting mechanic, I, I don't know exactly how it's gonna work in our world. I mean, that's how it works in No Man's Land. You hit the uh, walker, it turns into human enemy and it starts functioning as a human enemy. Uh, so we'll see, uh, this looks like quite exciting. Um, okay, and finally we have the bow uh, class weapon. Now the bow seems to have a new mechanic and this is the charge shot. Uh, so it seems like... Uh, if you hold down your finger on the screen, uh, the attack is going to be become charged, essentially dealing more damage. Uh, so this could be a game changer for the Whisperers, because if you manage to headshot them and kill them instantly, they won't even be able to turn. Um, also, the Whisperers are supposed to be... Uh, uh, not the Whisperers, the bow is supposed to be um, a silent killer anyway, so he, it shouldn't attract attention or walkers. So, it would be interesting, uh, especially when you have a companion who might shoot and, I don't know, warn, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. There's a lot of interesting mechanics with the Whisperers and the new weapon class, uh, new hero, new new Koga or SMG, new season, new packs, a lot of stuff happening. I guess maybe this is not everything, so we'll have to wait and see if they're going to be more than that. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, we'll see you all in my next video.